channel. Uh, just wanted to go over the dino flagellates update. I'm kind of, I'm somewhat questioning if that's what I actually have or not. Um, I believe it to be dinos because it looks like brown algae, it looks snotty, and it had air bubbles in it, and it spread all over the sand bed. Um, I just, I believe that's what it was, just from appearance, but I don't have a microscope to test it. I thought about ordering one off Amazon, but then it would be one of those things I'd use once or twice and never use it again. It'd get thrown away, given away, or I'm not one for like storing things that aren't getting used. So I didn't really want to go that route, but uh, basically let's just go over the, like a quick overview of the steps that I've taken so far. So initially when I started getting this, uh, what I thought to be dinos and still possibly is, um, when I started noticing it all over the sand, I first did the Dr. Tim's dino treatment which was a couple days of the refresh, followed by dosing Dr. Tim's Waste Away. Uh, that was supposed to include a three day blackout period, which I did not do. So I did all the dosing as recommended, and then the, if the, let's just refer to it as dinos, because that's probably what it is, but I mean, I'm just not 100% at this point. <clears throat> So it, it looked like it kind of went away and then it came back more, I believe, kind of uh, started spreading more. So the next step I did is I bought the uh, UV sterilizer. I started dosing uh, Microbacter 7 in the water. I continued with the waste away. I shortened the uh, the light period and uh, ran the UV at night because what I read is that with the uh, lights out they dinos some dinos go to the water column and that's when the UV sterilizer can uh, help kill them. Now if you've been following along the UV sterilizer that I bought was a uh, not a cheap one, but cheaper as far as what they had on the bulk resupply site and it's undersized for my tank. So uh, I started seeing more and more uh, of the sand being covered. It looked like it was getting worse and I didn't look like I was getting anywhere. So I didn't really want to do it just because of some of the negatives I read, but somebody convinced me to try the uh, Fauna, is it Fauna Marin Dino X? So I started dosing that a week ago. Was it a week ago Saturday? Uh, I just got the regular small bottle. Um, so I've dosed that as recommended every other day for a week. I've shortened my light period and I had for a little while where it looked like it was really going away and then it kind of started coming back again and now it just kind of looks like it's in you know around in the sand bed scattered about everywhere and it looks like what's there is kind of I don't know the sand looks like clumps in some areas of it so I'm not sure what the deal is there so along with the Dino X, by recommendation, I've also been dosing um, the uh, Neofos and uh, the, both of the things by Brightwell, basically the phosphates and the nitrates. Um, Neofos and Neo Nitro, I think it is. I'm dosing low levels of those and I've been testing my nitrates and phosphates daily and kind of uh, going by what I found was recommended levels. So let's talk about my water parameters real quick. Um, my salinity is 35 PPT. 
Uh, the water temperature is 78 degrees on the dot. The, uh, according to the Trident, the alkalinity is at nine on the dot. The calcium is at uh, 460 and the magnesium is at 1360. Now, I think it was actually like 1362, but I'm just, we'll call it 1360. Uh, right now, I'm using the HANA checker for phosphates, and my phosphates are 0 0.09. Uh, I think that's a little bit elevated. Most people have told me you want to try to keep them about 0 0.03, but I, I did read some articles where it said that you might want to elevate them a little bit uh, while you're trying to get rid of dinos. So, I've kind of continued dosing a little bit and I've raised those up. That's as high as I'm gonna let it get. So I actually turned the doser off for the phosphates right now and I'm gonna let it come back down a little bit unless uh, unless people are in agreement that, you know, they've had better luck or can give me reasoning why to go over that. Uh, the nitrates were at 0.12. So then that's another debatable thing from what I've read, but I've seen a few videos and read a few things where people would say you want them about 15 to 20 when you're trying to get rid of dinos. One person even said, I think they let theirs get to 25, so 0.25. Uh, I don't know if I want to let mine get that high because I don't know if that'll have any negative impact on the tank. But, I mean, who are we kidding? The Dino X, I've already got a negative impact on the tank. Um, so, I, I have found, and, and I've read beforehand too, uh, some people said that Dino X is not good for anything SPS. So, my um, Monopora Digitatas are just dying away. One of them looks completely dead. The other two, really really struggling if there's anything left but I don't know who, who knows they might could come back I don't know um, everything else for the most part is surviving um, I hadn't really had any other issues my uh, my snails my sand sifting snails or whatever or uh, sand bed snails and don't you know I I'm southern so I mispronounce a lot of things um, is it the Zara snails or whatever? They, uh, I haven't seen them come out at all since I've been dosing Dino X. I don't know if they're all dead. I don't know if they're still alive. Usually when I put food in the tank, then I see them come out. Since I've been dosing the Dino X, I haven't seen them at all. So I don't know, they, they could be dead, I'm not sure. I know I've lost a few crabs, a couple snails, because I see the shells laying around for them. Uh, I'm not sure what else might be going on, but uh, you know, it's just kind of different things. This, this is a, a major irritation and struggle. I hate that I got it to start with. I just really, you know, I guess I was one of those, it's not going to happen to me type deals. So I just, uh, I wanted really clean water and I wanted to take care of the tank the best I possibly could. I've thrown all kind of money at it to try to do so. And in doing so, I believe, you know, running uh, the Purit in combination with other things, I believe that that's what got me to the stage of having dinos because when I first tested, uh, after I assumed I had dinos, my phosphates and nitrates were both undetectable. So that was another part, you know, in the, in determining that it was dinos. But like I said, I'm still not 100% sure. I, I'm about 90% sure that it's dinos. Um, I mean, it, I don't know if it could be something else really. It, it, I don't know, it, it looks kind of like diatoms uh, or just like a brown algae other than 
having the air bubbles in it. And some people say that's like a dead giveaway. So I don't know. Let me know your thoughts or comments on it. Um, the, I don't know what else really to do. I thought about getting a, uh, a bigger UV sterilizer because a lot of people say they treat that method. Uh, another thing that I read was people using hydrogen peroxide. I don't know if I want to introduce that stuff to my tank. Um, I just, I know the Dino X, it says you can treat it for a month, but most people that use it say that it got rid of theirs like in within three doses of it. So I'm kind of wondering if I have, maybe, maybe I have like a type of dinos that's more resilient to it, you know, so I just don't know if I'm going to be able to completely get rid of it using that. Or, I don't know, let me know. I mean, this is my first experience with it. I'm gonna show you some close-ups of the sand bed. Let me know, I mean, is it already, is it just when it dies off, when you've killed the dinos, does it leave like the brown stuff remaining in the sand and, and actually uh, like clump up the sand? Or I, I just don't know. Let me know any thoughts or comments you have. You know, it's greatly appreciated. Um, if you think it's still alive and I should try something else that might be safe, then uh, please let me know that as well. Let me take this phone off the stand. Uh, bear with me just a second uh, while it's moving. And I'm going to show you. Okay, so let's step back first. All right, so that's what the sand bed's looking like, and you can see all the patches of it still. I'll try to get you all the views I can of it. And part of my helper, of course, is in here. It's going to sing the entire time. But if you, like, if you can kind of see that, see where it's kind of clumping and looks like brown algae clumping up the sand. But anyway, let me know your thoughts.